Okay, good to see you. Oh. Okay, I'm going to get to sit right here with you. Oh, I'm getting to see y'all a lot, aren't I? Well, these are always good days. You know, I said, said this before when I was here, you know, not long ago. But, uh, you know, we, we've been able to secure lots and lots and lots of grants. And we've been kind of crisscrossing our state. And I love it when we're in southern West Virginia. And I love it when we're within a rock's throw of my house. <laughs> so that makes it really good. And, uh, and so today we've got some land and water grants and some recycling grants. And they total a lot of money. They total uh, a little over 300000 on the land and water grants and 100, over 123000 on the recycling grants. And all that turns into money. I've said it a bunch of times, but here's the thing before I get started. You know, one dollar, one dollar brought into our state, what does it mean? It means eight to 14 times that dollar. So today we're giving away almost a half a million dollars worth of stuff. Now, and as we do that and everything, that, that half a million either turns into four million or it turns into seven million, one of the two. It's a lot of money and a lot of stuff and it provides lots and lots and lots of jobs and it provides lots of big gulfs to be bought and it generates all kinds of extra you know, taxes that go to our state and then from that to fallout just keeps going and going and going. So we've got a bunch of great elected, elected officials here and I congratulate all of y'all and everything and uh, we've even got a guy that followed me up and down the sidelines and hollered and everything into the microphone till he's blue green and that's brother Campbell back here and you know and I saw Senator Ball and I just I, I don't know who all is else here. I see Mayor Boland, my good little friend, and I coached his daughter, and, and I, just, I just left basketball practice just a minute ago with a bunch of crazy little girls and everything that are having a good time. And so, so anyway, I would say this to you. Remember the words I spoke to, uh, that I said to you a month ago? We have so many good opportunities right here, right here. I think the hidden gem that we have here is our airport. And having that airport, if played properly, I really believe that there's a real opportunity that is within our grasp to be able to turn that into a southern regional airport in our state. Now, and I'm going to try with all in me to see that that happens in the southern part of West Virginia because we have so much. And if I could just, I'm going to just talk just one second about that. So you'll know my thinking. You see, all throughout West Virginia, we have tourism possibilities that are numerous. But here we have something that is so unique. Just think about it. You know, we have real skiing or possibilities within, within our, we have wintertime activities, hunting and fishing and hiking and all that kind of stuff. We have a real possibility of someday maybe even having another ski opportunities within a rocks throw up is here. But irregardless, we still have, you know, you've got Winter Place, you've got Snowshoe, and the possibility of another, and, and Winter Green, it's not very far away. And the Homestead has, an op, has a ski option as well. So again, if you just think about it, let's just go through the, go through the process. You've got incredible trout fishing here. You've got our rivers that provide all kinds of smallmouth bass or bass or muskie or whatever. You have every type of hunting opportunity here. You've got ATVing, you've got the mountains, you've got the skiing, you've got all the golf, all the resorts. You have all kinds of activities for tourism, whether it be restaurants or historic 
or caving or on and on and on right here, right here in southern West Virginia. Now, in other parts of West Virginia, you have good stuff, but you don't have that much stuff. You don't have that kind of good stuff. What's our problem? Our problem is you can't get to people here. You can't get them here. You know, really and truly, there's airports in other areas of our state that you can get them, but you can't get them to southern West Virginia because people don't want, people don't want to go to Roanoke or go to Charleston or wherever it may be and drive and drive and drive, and then they have to worry about, and on top of that, I, I left out something that's monstrous, whitewater rafting. I mean, think of what we have here. Well, our key is the airport or the Beckley Airport. It's gotta be one of the two. And I'm not gonna quit until it becomes one of the two. And so, so just keep that thought in the back of your mind because I think the key to Emerald City is not, you know, not the ATVing or the whitewater rafting or the Greenbrier or snowshoe or whatever. I think the key is the airport. And so with that being said, we don't want to mess that up. Now, let me give away some money because that's, that's, you know, it's in not very long, I'll have my Santa suit on. And uh, let me tell you a little story real quick about my Santa suit while, while I'm into stories. You know, every year I have the opportunity, and, and a guy asked me to do this a long, long time ago. He said, he's a real country guy. He just recently passed away. And... Uh, lived a great life, did a lot, a lot of good stuff for some really, really, really needy kids. But he looked at me one day, you know, because he'd always come to me and asked me to give money for these kids. And a long time ago, he said, you know, you'd make the perfect Santa Claus. And, and I, he said, would you come to our church and be Santa Claus? And I said, well, Ronald, sure I'll do it if you'll get me a Santa Claus suit. And I thought that'd get me out of it. And then I thought, bad move because I'm going to end up with a Santa suit that's going to look like spandex on me. So, so I, I said, bad, bad move. And so I got my own Santa suit and I went for years and years and years, forever. And the little church was crumpler. And, and so that kind of morphed into doing other Santa stuff. And so then I came up with the ingenious idea one, one night, it was Christmas time, and, you know, we have all these lights on our house and everything. So I got my Santa suit on. I had all these little stuffed animals, and I had some Walmart, Walmart, Walmart gift cards. And I, got, I just went right out, and it was snowing like crazy. I just went right out in the street, and I was just, because everybody was coming by, and I was giving away the little stuffed animals and some Walmart gift cards. And I thought, boy, was that good. That was really fun. It was a really good thing to do. and Maybe it helped some people and all that kind of stuff. So then... And I don't know if this was Jeff or Fred Persinger, but then the next year I was on the radio and doing a thing after the game or before the game, and somebody said to me, when is Santa maybe going to show up again this year? And I said, well, just maybe he's going to come on next Tuesday night. Well, you know, I went to basketball practice on Tuesday and everything. And Kathy called me about probably about 10 minutes after 6, and she said, Jam, what is going on? And I said, Kathy, what do you mean? She said, there's a thousand people in our front yard. <laughs> so, and I had completely forgotten about it. I had no Santa suit. I had no nothing. You know, I completely forgotten about it. So it was not good. But, uh, but nevertheless, it's, uh, it's about to be Thanksgiving, isn't it? And, you know, there's more to this Thanksgiving and Christmas deal than football and eating, and, uh, and it's a time that we should be really appreciative and share with our families as best we can, remember all those that are in the active military that aren't able to be with us, or maybe families that are in faraway places, but uh, remember all the veterans that gave everything they had, and some of them the ultimate sacrifice so that we can have that Thanksgiving dinner. And so uh, it's a great time of year. And, and maybe, maybe we can give away a few grants here today and 
make it an even better time of year. So these land and water grants, the Land and Water Conservation Fund is federally, is a federal state partnership administered by the Department of Commerce. Over half a million dollars are gonna be awarded throughout the state. And these grants will provide much needed money for planning, acquisition, and development of state and local parks. Did you hear me when I said over a half a million dollars will be awarded this year? I'm gonna do it one more time. Over a half a million dollars will be awarded this year. I'm giving, no, okay, no, no, here's, here's where you can really clap. I said earlier, I'm giving away right here today, $300,000. $300,000, a little better than $300,000 in Southern West Virginia, you know, of 500,000 that are going all throughout our state. So you guys are getting a lion's share of what in the world's going on, of what's going on, and that's good stuff, really good. The first one is to the town of Marlington, and, uh, and this, this kind of happened, you know, a few months back. You know, I was there, and I can't recall if it was the mayor or who gave me, you know, the, 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 the thing about their new gateway park and new Discovery Junction and all this, you know, that adjoined to the Marlington Opry ha Opera House and all this kind of stuff. You know, but, uh, but I looked at it and looked at it a lot and I thought, Dad, you know, this is really good. Really, really, really good. So anyway, we've got, uh, you know, of course we all know it's, you know, it, it, this is, it's adjacent or it's on the, you know, the Greenbrier River Trail and Mongahelia National Forest and all that kind of stuff and, and, uh, and farmers markets and all, everything, it's just, uh, all kinds of other community events, $86,391. We're going to have Discovery Junction and New Gateway Park in Marlington, and it's on the way. So I'm going to let Brother Ed from the DEP read this wonderful declaration, and then if you guys come up, we'll take our picture. Land and Water Conservation Fund grant. This is to certify. I got too many things. We got anybody? We got anybody from Marlington here? Come on, come on, brothers. Okay, I'm switching, switching things up here. Okay, gosh, the whole gang's here. I like it. No, thank y'all so much. Bless y'all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know y'all have done great work. I know y'all have been at this for years, and now we'll make it all a reality. Come on, Ed, you need to get in here, too. Y'all need to hold this. Whoops. Yep. I'll get that in a little bit. I'll stand right here. Too many wires. <laughs> okay, y'all make me look thin. All right. Okay, thank y'all. Thanks again. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate Way to go. No, thank you guys. Okay, this is the city of Ronsford. 100,000 grant for Island Park addition and renovations. This is to begin site preparations on the 2.3 acre addition to the city of Ronsford's Island Park for new soccer and camping offerings Besides the 1300, besides, I guess, besides, or beside, or along with, I guess, a 1300 foot walking trail, spray pad, that's when you get real dirty, I guess, <laughs> and other ball field improvements to the main park grounds. So, anybody from Ronsford, if y'all will come, please. <laughs> oh. All right, sir. Long lost little buddies here. Okay, y'all hold and we'll get our picture made.
All right, don't spend all that money today. <laughs> Thank you. City of White Sulphur. Mm. 60,000 grant for Memorial Park ball field lighting. I don't need to read all about what all this is, but uh, I do need to read this. It says uh, Memorial Park in White Sulphur's is White Sulphur's principal park, boarding Howard's Creek, which was heavily impacted by the 2016 flood. You know, I would ask you to all remember all those in your prayers over Thanksgiving and Christmas because uh, we have suffered through and recovered from something that was, or partially recovered. We'll never completely eradicate the scars, but, uh, uh, but we're on our way back. And you know we're on our way back because there is no recourse. You've got to get on your way back. But uh, you can't, uh, you'll, never, you'll never know, because I, I don't know anything to do with, with people just but telling the truth. But you'll never know the number of prayers that I said on the way over. I just, I just asked that the good Lord would some way, somehow let me see where her body is. Let me see her. And uh, because what I would do would take my coat and lay my coat over and just wait on the people to come. You know, uh, because I knew that uh, she had to be gone. We prayed first and foremost that we'd find her alive. But if we couldn't find her alive, we needed to find her. You know, we needed to find her for that family. And, and praise the Lord, we did find her. But, uh, man, tough time. So I guess Brother Bruce and, and others from White Sulphur come, and at least we'll, we'll light a ball field. And maybe we can light the ball field in her honor, too. Thank you, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Mayor. Thank you. All right, guys. Now, this looks like a tag team match, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, guys, thank y'all. God bless you. Thank, thank you, sir. No, thank you, man. Thank y'all. Okay, maybe I won't be winded on this one. $59,400 grant for Hollowell ball field lighting improvements. And so uh, Hollowell Park is the city's principal park. These lighting improvements will enable 12 of the park's 16 overhead light fixtures to be upgraded, which work began with an earlier NPS grant. School league and tournament play will, great, will be greatly enhanced by the value of these improvements. So. Somebody from the city of Lewisburg come up here. Okay, hold on now. Hi, Ed, you're supposed to read. Sorry. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Land and Water Conservation Fund grant for services hey, to the city of grant is $59,400 to be awarded to the city of Lewisburg for the Hollowell Ball Field Lighting Okay, sir. You make them look good now. <laughs> Very good. No, thank you. Okay, these are the recycling grants. So let's just get right on with it here. Okay, this is to the Summers County Commission, $18,280 to assist with personnel, annual recycling conference, vehicle fuel and maintenance, and desk side bins for the countywide program. Yeah. Go read. How you doing? Hey, hey guys, how y'all doing? Very good. I'm going to let you hold. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All 
All right. Thank you very much. Very good. So thank you guys. I think I said this before when I was here, or maybe I somebody uh, other place, but we gave away, you know, we gave away grants here just a little while ago that were bigger grants, and we gave away eighteen thousand dollars right there. That eighteen thousand dollars means exactly the same as eighteen million dollars, because all the difference is is zeros. And that $18,000 means just as much to those people as the $18 million may mean. So good job. Okay, this is to the Beckley Waste Paper. And uh, $50,000 to assist with the purchase of the use of a used recycling truck for, re for the recycling operation. So if anybody from Beckley's here, come on up. We'll let Ed read. Hold. Thank you. Uh, I'll stand. <laughs> okay, here's another. No, I just did that. Oh, different one. Okay. This is this is a recycling packer truck, not just a recycling truck. To assist with the purchase of a recycling packer truck for the citywide program. Is that the same thing? Okay, come on. I got 50,000 more bucks for you. This is the city of Beckley again. Okay. We're doubling down here. Hey, we'll take them all, bro. Okay. <laughs> all right. Whew. This is a good one. 150000 to assist with the purchase of a metal building for a countywide program in Greenbrier County. Greenbrier County Solid Waste Authority. come all here together. Y'all come together. I'm going to get out of the way a little bit. I'll get behind you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Turn it around there. You're looking good. Okay. Okay. Way to go. Good job. Way to go. I still think we, we doubled down on Beckley, but we had to. <laughs> Okay, this is Green Works Recycling. To assist with the purchase of a work truck, tilt trailers, utility trailers, bed liner truck, truck bed liner rather, truck rack and educational brochure for the recycling operation. Okay, come ahead. Thank you. How you doing? Appreciate good it. To see you. How are you, okay. sir? Good to see y'all. Good to see you. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, great to see y'all. Okay. Thank you, sir. I just didn't want to let you get me getting, you get behind me. <laughs> okay, Thank good you, job. Sir. Good Appreciate job. You. Thank y'all. Thank y'all all so much. Okay, this is Mercer County. $24,511 to assist with personnel, fuel and maintenance for recycling truck and trailers, recycling stations, and recycling liners for the countywide program. Department of Environmental Protection, 2019 Recycling Assistance Warranty. Go, sir. No, that's good. Okay, great deal. Thank you. 
Okay, this is Mercer County again. My Lord, have mercy. I'm zooming past the dollars that I was giving away, but that's good. I'm loving this. Mercer County again, Solid Waste Authority, 150000 to assist with personnel in public and a public sorting facility for countywide programs. Okay. Okay, sure. Great job. Perfect again. Okay. Santa's got more stuff in the bag. Monroe County, Solid Waste Authority, $25,360 to assist with the public water to the facility. Uh, uh, Installation of an approved septic system and personnel and for, you know, personnel assistance for a countywide program. Good job. Good job. Okay. There you go. You're the man. Do I, do I need to get up on a stool here? Well, <laughs> you know, I was just wondering what was going on here. All right. Good job. Thank good you. job. Happy. Okay, this is Wyoming County. Board of Education, $26,637 to assist with the purchase of a hydraulic dumping trailer, recycling bags, student environmental steward scholarships, uh, personnel traveling to conferences and fuel for the recycling vehicles, uh, and printing costs for the county and the recycling program. Anybody from Wyoming County? You can get $26,637, buy a lot of Wendy burgers. All right, we'll get it to them. Thank you. Last one, Raleigh County Solid Waste Authority, $95,018.91 to assist with a continuous, conti continuous ridge ventilator. Skid steer loader, recycling clothes, top boxes, forklift, skid steer tires, and recycling lift trucks, carts for countywide program. 2019 recycling assistance grant from Raleigh County Solid Waste Authority. All right. Thank you all so much. For sure. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Okay. Oh, oh. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Okay. Do hey, y'all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm with the beautiful women. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How, this, how would we look at the prom together? Oh, yeah, at the prom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's all I got today. But I'll be back soon. And uh, remember the prayers that I asked you to say for all the people. And, uh, and again, I hope you have a really blessed Thanksgiving, a very, very, very Merry Christmas. And it ought to be politically absolutely correct in every way to say Merry Christmas. And I hope you'll have a Happy New Year as well. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for having me.